Hi everyone, welcome to my fishing channel. It's my, my pleasure to, uh, to launch a new YouTube fishing channel and share my passion uh, of fishing with you. Uh, I guess the first question is why did I, uh, I call this channel Selfie Fisher, uh, Selfie Fishing Adventures? Um, uh, all, uh, some of my friends uh, make, make fun of me because I like to take uh, selfies with fish. <laughs> So I, I really enjoy that and it's become a running joke uh, among my friends. So I thought, why not own it and uh, and come up with a YouTube channel in that name. So I really hope you enjoy the content. It'll be both above water, underwater, try, try to give you some context on um, the baits I use, the techniques, um, you know, in general, you know, just uh, bring you along with me and uh, and what's going through my mind as I, as I enjoy uh, my passion of fishing. So, uh, you know, I don't take myself too seriously, you know, come along, enjoy, have fun and, uh, and, and please support the channel. So if you can share, uh, like, uh, comment, uh, really appreciate that and hope to meet some, some other people passionate about fishing, make friends, uh, maybe even go fishing together if, um, if you're in the same area. So uh, I'm very open to all of that. So definitely reach out and uh, thank you. Okay, now to some excitement. This is some underwater footage of a recent ice fishing trip. You can see very curious large mouse, mouth, mouth bass uh, coming up to the camera um, and really having a, a good look at it. I can see in the background another very nice uh, large mouth bass is swimming by. Um, and now uh, I did my scouting, I, I put my lures down and I'm hoping to, to catch a fish. You can see in the background there's a pretty nice bass actually just, uh, just going by. I'm dead sticking at this point. Uh, oh, another one's coming by. Wow, nice one. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> doesn't seem to notice my lure. Uh, I started jigging at this point, trying to get the uh, the bass's attention. So I'm kind of doing um, using two baits: one um, uh, one a perch talker uh, with a wax worm, and the other one is a um, uh, basically a flutter spoon with with a dead minnow on it. So I'm jigging them both at the same time. Look like looks like I got the attention of, of a bass. He's coming in. Oh, he he bit it, spit it out. Uh, he's kind of a bit tentative. Uh, maybe he felt the hook, but uh, you know, so I'm trying to dead stick now, be a bit more subtle. He's coming back, got in his mouth, up he goes. So it's my first, first nice catch. Uh, he's going to head up. So this is the picture. Uh, I can see, <laughs> I call myself selfie <laughs> fishing adventures. Uh, and now I'm, I'm going to show you the release here. So I've unhooked the bass, uh, I'm putting him back down the hole and he goes back into the depth. He's having a bit of trouble swimming down. Uh, it's quite a deep hole and uh, it's not fitting that well, but uh, I give him a bit of a push and uh, yeah, he's, he's as good as new. Back down to the depth. Okay, now I'm fishing again. This time a nice perch comes to check out my lure. Oh wow, that was fast. Perch gets the lure. Uh, yeah, she's uh, she's been caught. <laughs> she's just, going top water. Oh, another bass comes by. Uh, so I guess this is why I, while I was unhooking that perch, <laughs> you can't do too many things at the same time. So I, I, I missed a few bass there that were uh, just uh, cruising by. Um, you can see um, I do have, um, you know, a minnow uh, down and, and, and right now I put down the, the perch talker with the wax worm. So I'm trying to kind of jig both rods subtly, trying to get the bass's attention. Uh, so far, no luck, but you can kind of tell they're in the area, they're, they're looking around. And, uh, you know, sometimes I pound the bottom as well, trying to, trying to tell them, you know, something's going on here, come check it out. Um, oh, wow, nice one is coming in now. That's, 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 this is a huge one, at least a four pounder. He's, he's looking at it. Oh, he took it. Up he goes. Yeah, so that was, a, that was a very nice catch. Uh, so this is me after I caught that really nice fish, uh, putting it up for the camera. Again, <laughs> like to take selfie videos and selfie photos. So uh, that was a nice, at least a four pounder, um, healthy fish, uh, very clean. And, uh, you know, uh, he just, uh, didn't hesitate. He went for those wax worms, probably pretty hungry in the winter. And now we're going to see a release on the, on that fish. So um, excuse the filming. I'm still uh, still a amateur, I guess, at all this stuff. So camera is not perfectly aligned, but uh, trying to get him back in the hole. Uh, he's a bit big for the hole, but we can hopefully get his, his head in. And down he goes. So he swam, sw healthy fish, swam right back down. Hopefully uh, none the worse for the, for the wear. Um, so now I'm, I'm targeting perch a bit. So there's a big school of perch underneath me. Uh, I'm trying to kind of entice them to bite. So I'm, I'm jigging subtly. Uh, so one takes it and up he goes. 
So that wasn't that wasn't too hard. He was he re, he was really aggressive. He wanted it. You can see while I'm unhooking the other fish, uh, you know, I, I put the lure down again, and again you can see how aggressive they are. Right there, as soon as it goes down, especially the wax worms on the perch talker, uh, they hit it right away. And this is kind of the fish above above the water. So again, it's a good sized perch, not a jumbo or anything, but you know, very decent, very decent size, a nice clean fish. Um, so I go back to fishing, so I have both lures in the water again. I have my perch talker with wax worms. I have my um, flutter spoon with the buckshot flutter spoon with the uh, with the minnow shiner. And again, you can see uh, the perch in the back there. He's uh, he has the um, the perch talker now with the wax worms in his mouth, and he's swimming off with it. And sometimes when you're fishing, the fish will actually swim off with the lure, but you won't realize it. So at this point, I I wasn't <laughs> realizing it, but he, he swam off with it and I did catch him eventually. Uh, again, I'm jigging again here for, for perch. Uh, one, one's coming in to have a look here. A bit hesitant. Um, and look at that. You see, you see the speed of that? That, that, that fish came in from, from very, very far, hit the lure aggressively, and I got him topside. Uh, another perch strike here. So another perch coming in. Again, a few of them looking at it. Anytime there's competition, you have a better chance. So more of them are coming in. They're more likely to bite. And I get one top side as well. So you want to try to attract the school, bring them in, have them compete. Uh, oh, wow, what's that? Some big, big pike coming in here. So this is this is a, actually a really large pike. I mean, as soon as he came in, uh, all the perch uh, obviously scattered. Except for one there at, on the bottom left. I guess he didn't have time to leave, so... <laughs> He kind of got stuck there, but luckily the pike didn't see him. But I mean, he's in trouble though because uh, I'm jigging and the pike is coming back. So hopefully the pike goes for my lure and not for that uh, poor perch that <laughs> that's kind of stuck now with a with a pike, uh, you know, circling in the area. So he's he's kind of trying to hide, play invisible. Hopefully the pike doesn't realize him because of all the, you know, the the dust at the bottom. But pike are pretty smart. So the pike is coming back for him. Uh, he sees the perch now. He's going to try to eat that perch. Let's see if the pike will get him. Oh no, Perch is smart. He, man he managed to escape. The pike turns around, uh, but probably realizes it's too late. He uh, He's lost that perch now. The perch is out of there. Um, hopefully now that the perch is gone, the pike will go for my lure. Again, he's looking at my lure, uh, trying to decide, you know, you know, he lost the perch, which is a bigger meal. Does he want the smaller meal? Uh, looks like he doesn't. Uh, I guess he's, uh, I should have put down a bigger minnow or something. Um, hmm, some sunfish are coming in. I think those are pumpkin seed or bluegill. Oh, they got the lure. He's tasting it. Hmm, maybe they didn't like the wax worms too much. Uh, no, yeah, we got him. He's going topside. Okay, so here's that nice uh, pumpkin seed uh, on top of the water. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the footage. I hope you support the channel. Please like and subscribe. And I really love making this video. And I should have more content for you shortly. Enjoy.